please stand clear of the doors. Hey, Alex. Hey, Adam. So uh, we're going to go to Magic Kingdom today. Oh, sweet. Yes, we are. But I'm kicked out at four. Why, Adam? I didn't buy Not So Scary Halloween. Oh, uh, I thought we were big boys, and I'm going to Halloween Horror Nights. Come on, Adam. Why'd you guys do us like that for? But at least you guys get to dress up. I can't. Yes, I wore my ghost shirt. I wore my old man Peter Parker outfit. Welcome to episode 20 of the Diz His Podcast. I'm Joe. I'm Alex. I'm Adam. Today we will be giving the his on Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. So Adam, what do you think of Mickey's Not-So-Scary? Yeah, Adam. I yeah, think Adam. it's amazing. It looks really good mm-hmm. on every YouTube video I've seen. <laughs> oh, so you've never been, huh? No, no, no. I have never been. Oh. Luckily for me, I just went with Joe about two and a half weeks ago for my first time. How many times have you gone, Joe? Uh, like three or four times. Yeah. I went this recently, you know, with you, Alex. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I really enjoy it. It's my favorite um, extra event that Disney does. Really? Better than Christmas? I've never been to the Christmas one. But, I mean, that parade, if you just talk to other mm-hmm. people. Yeah. Well, you, you say it's at- your favorite event. So what other events have you been to? <laughs> <laughs> I guess if it's only one, it's his favorite. It's favorite, yeah. I guess it's right. your favorite. <laughs> I, guess, I guess you're right. But it, it's... Uh, I mean, I've seen plenty of Disney parades and and uh, mm-hmm. Halloween parades. My favorite parade. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you're seeing people in costumes in costume. <laughs> How can it get better than that? What are you talking about, man? There's 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 people in costume. Right, there are people in costumes, and the costumes have costumes. Halloween costumes. Oh, I guess you're right. It's like, like it's Mickey's, like, you know, dressed up. Right. It's like yeah. Inception or something. <laughs> it's like a costume inside, inside a costume. A costume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the parade is definitely amazing. And if you haven't seen it, I recommend looking it on YouTube. So let's boo this and get to the his on Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Let's boo this. <laughs> Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party is a family-style celebration of Halloween. This event is held at the Magic Kingdom in Florida and at the Disneyland Paris Resort. Created to compete against Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Orlando and Hallow Scream at Busch Gardens Tampa, this event goes away from the jump scares of its competitors, tailoring to the families with its inviting atmosphere for all ages. So why is it not in California? Why is it not in California? It is in California. No, it's not. No, it's not. It is in... It's here, oh, Orlando. Disney, but, okay, it's in Paris. I kind of know the answer. I don't know why. How do you, how know, you, the, how do you know the answer if you didn't know it was not okay. in California? How I do thought, you kick I the mic stand every day? <laughs> I thought uh, Disneyland Paris. I saw, I saw Disneyland, so I was in Paris. Yeah, right. Disneyland So Paris. they don't have a Mickey's Not So Scary, uh-huh. but they do have something called an Oogie Boogie Bash, and it's at Disneyland California Adventure, okay. which is I think it's kind of, I'm not 100% sure, but from mm-hmm. what I can tell, it's a little smaller version of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Okay. And there's some things I do like better about from what I've seen on the videos, mm-hmm. you know, um, about the Oogie Boogie Bash, is that there's n- there's a lot more candy stations over at over here in Florida. There's at Mickey's Not So Scary, and so actually, hold on, I'm sorry. There's a lot works. less candy stations, but they give out more candy uh-huh. at the candy stations. And over at the Oogie Boogie Bash, there's more candy stations, but they give you less candy at each sta- station. Because I mean, the Mickey's Not So Scary over here, they just give you like handfuls. Over there, they give you like two pieces of candy. I like how um, there's characters. There's, it seems like... What characters are there? So I start Oogie Boogie, right? And you go into like Oogie Boogie's lair, which mm-hmm. is awesome. Dr. Facilite. I mm-hmm. think that's how, that's how you say his name. No, definitely but, not how you say it. I okay, can't well, pronounce it, but <laughs> there's no Just say the there. Voodoo Man. The Voodoo, voodoo man. man. Yeah, which is my favorite Disney character, even He's though he doesn't one. have a hard, a hard one to say. I actually like the guy who plays that character. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was also in Mass Effect 3. Oh, yep. who was he messed up? Uh, he was one. Um, I'm blanking on the name. Let's see if I can find that real. Okay. He was. Uh, he was uh, Admiral David Anderson uh, in the beginning, oh, of the very okay. beginning. I know he was, about. you know, when you meet up. Yeah. So also a game that me and you played together. He has another Disney relation. Uh, Marvel Heroes. Okay. He's uh, Nick Fury in Marvel Heroes. Oh really? Yeah, and then um, also uh, 
other things that maybe people listening to this might wouldn't know. Saints Row and uh, mm-hmm. Future Man. He's in there. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, he is. He's a doctor. Yep. So you know, I've been playing Kingdom Hearts with my son, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And they actually had some Disney Kingdom Hearts characters over there. They had uh, Kingdom Hearts Goofy that, that was there. Oh, so uh-huh. he had? Did he have a key? Or how did you know it was him? Okay, Just it's just like an outfit? outfit that he wears okay. in the game, and he was wearing the outfit there. And they had Kingdom Hearts like behind them. You know, it was That's really cool. cool. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. My son was going crazy. He's like, we need to go to California. <laughs> Tell your mom that. Which we are going in a couple of years. I'm not sure if I told are you, you guys. No, oh, yeah, are you? Yeah, we're going to go to California. Oh, why are you going to California? Because it's uh, like my goddaughter's like graduation. <laughs> oh, thanks for keeping us in the loop. What started as a single night event in 1985 at the Magic Kingdom is now a multi-month event running from mid-August through November 1st. Disneyland Paris Resort received the event starting in 2008. However, it is a limited event. This year, 2019, there are only two days that it takes place, October 26th and the 31st. So have you ever seen the people, it's like not even Halloween yet, and they already got their Christmas decorations up? Isn't that kind of like the same thing with this, <laughs> starting in August? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, just think about this for a second. Alex and I were talking about this, right? And we, we were? were at, <laughs> huh? We were? Yeah. Okay. At the event, remember, who came up with Mickey's Not So Scary? Because oh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they like deserve a medal. Yeah. Because pretty much they figured out a way. How to get people to pay mm-hmm. to go to Magic Kingdom twice yeah. in one day. Yeah. Twice in one day. Or you can just go early. No. Like, you no, with your pass. You can get in at four o'clock. Yeah, yeah but then you get kicked out. Yeah. No, 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 no. no, no. Oh, no, no. No, if you have the if you have Not So hang- Scary Pass, oh, yeah. you can go there at oh, four. Oh, at four, yeah. Right. So, you, but you know that you're going to get on more of the rides than you would in the day. So, why not yeah. just do the night? Yeah, pass? but think about this for a second. Everyone that's there during the day, they paid to get in during the day, right? And then... People who want to go to Mickey's Not So Scary, you know, like we have annual passes, right? So we pay for our annual passes, plus we paid to go to Mickey's Not So Scary. So mm-hmm. they figure out a different way for... You're the dumb dumbs who paid into it. Well, I love <laughs> Mickey's Not So Scary. And I mean, it's a, it's a good time. But I mean, the person who came up with that idea is a genius. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, they're going against Halloween Horror Nights. I mean, it's our Orlando staple. Yeah. Started. Yeah, but it's way different because this is for No, families. it is way different. But I also found out that uh, I, Halloween Horror Nights started in 1991. I'm wow. surprised it took that long for Disney. I would have thought the very next year, if it's a one-day event, I would have thought they would have seen that, mm-hmm. seen this, you know, and then, like, had something to compete Probably against. Probably took a while for it to get, like, up to speed and become something that Disney wants to make money on. Because remember, Disney doesn't make doesn't do things if it doesn't make Less a lot of money. makes money, yep. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Bye-bye Disney Quest. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> No, Paris definitely got the short end, right? They get two days. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. Maybe Better how, than California, but <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the Oogie Boogie Bash. Maybe they're trying to test it to see how it's going to work. On event nights, the party starts at seven p.m. Though guests can enter at four p.m. During normal operation times, guests over the age of fourteen are not allowed to dress up in costume. But during the event, the costume rule is waived. So if you are a big kid at heart and upset you cannot dress up at the park, this is your time to have fun. So when you guys were there, what are your some of the favorite costumes that you've seen, or was it yourselves? Uh, definitely not mine. So this guy was dressed up as the doctor in uh, from Jurassic Park. Oh, <laughs> and, oh with the, uh, yeah, the, the guy doctor, who John it, Hammond, yeah, and yeah. all white and everything. He had uh-huh. a cane and everything. It was amazing. Did the cane have a I don't amber? know like amber, amber with a mosquito? I don't know. know. I mean, that, that, but he had the hat. He had. He looked yeah. just like John Hammond. He did. And when I saw him, I don't know why I said this because it's not what he says because I messed it up. But I said, "This is Jumanji." Are you sure he doesn't say that in Jurassic Park? I think he might actually because it mean Jumanji. They had dinosaurs in Jumanji, right? <laughs> no, they didn't. Uh, yes, there was dinosaurs no, in the was... book. There were. There's like a T Rex. Oh, no one reads the book. <laughs> Watch the movie. <laughs> I just had watched Jumanji like the previous week, so that's uh-huh. why I was in my head. But yeah, I said, "This is Jumanji," and they're all like, "What?" Yeah, I was like, that's not what he says. But that was a good costume. My favorite costume was that some people dressed up as some characters from Kingdom Hearts. So they had like Sora was there. You know, someone was dressed up as Sora, which was awesome. Um, I went dressed as, so when my son's really into Mm Spider-Verse. So my wife went as um, Spider-Gwen. I went as old Spider-Man. Did she dye her hair? No. And cut it? No. No. Not but she had like part. the outfit, whatever. Doesn't and matter. then I was old Spider Man, like you know, oh, like Peter Parker, the yeah. belly, <laughs> <laughs> had a little belly, you know, like the old man, sweats, you know? yeah. sweats. I had sweats, you know, uh-huh. and I had a little jacket. And I had like the top Spider Man outfit. And mm-hmm. I had like mis- uh, mismatching socks. 
And then my son went as Miles Morales. Wow, that's cool. So it was cool. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. All right. I can actually answer something. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we were still in the park when people were coming in. Oh, yeah. And I, me and um, the kids watched all through Gravity Falls. Okay. So I thought it was really cool when, uh, do you, either of you know what Gravity Falls is? I know. It's like, it's, I, I know, know it. kind of what it's about. So the daughter was dressed up as Mabel and the dad was dressed up as Dipper. Oh, that was really cool. And that's then cool. He also had a book with him that had these six fingers on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The okay, six cool. finger hand. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. That's pretty neat. It's a show on Disney. I know. I've seen I've oh, seen yeah. it before. I haven't watched that much, but I've seen it. Um Yeah, the costumes were definitely awesome. It was definitely a great time to uh people watch. Yeah. A great time to people watch. A Halloween event wouldn't be complete without trick or treating. And that they have. Though the park treated locations are identified by large inflatable towers. You can also check out the park map handed out when you arrive to know where you need to go. The candy is provided by Mars Incorporated, the maker of Twix and M&M's, and also its sub-company, Wrigley. Bags are provided for the guests, but if you prefer, you can bring your own. I didn't know Mars made m and I thought Dr. Dre did. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny there, Adam. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I, I liked a lot of the candy there, but I'm really not a big m M&M fan. And they give you a lot of m ms Oh, they do? They, I like the ones with the peanuts in it. Those are delicious. Or the... Re, uh, no, no. The peanut butter. Peanut butter. Yes, oh, peanut butter. Oh, yeah, those are but, good. You know, there was a new m M&M I never had, and it was like a, it was like um hazelnut spread. I, didn't, I wasn't a big fan of that oh, one. Oh, that was delicious. You, you like that one? I was yeah. a big fan. So, I actually, real quick, I didn't know that Mars was incorporated with Wrigley. Mm-hmm. I thought that was an, either. I thought that was an. Did you guys get bubblegum? <laughs> I mean, no. did you get no? Oh, yeah, that no. was in the um, f- uh, fandom page. I was like, oh, that's an odd. Thing. But they had uh, sour lifesavers. Those uh-huh. are delicious. Oh yeah, yeah, those are good. And you know, I mean, they give you. We didn't. We didn't even go through all the candy stations. I know we skipped a whole bunch. Yeah, and there's a. I mean, there's a lot of candy they give. So you it there. says you get small bags. Are they mm-hmm. really? Are they actually small? So the, the first one they give you is a small bag when you're first going in. Uh-huh. Is a, is a small? Oh, you're talking about what are you talking about? Like, so when you first go in, Trick they give bag. you like a. They give you a small bag, like when you first go That's in. Small. Huh? What are you talking about? The first bag they give you. Well, I would thought he was talking about something different. They actually give you like a little candy bag with it has like a Twix in it and it has like. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they give you like a little uh, bag of candy, kind right. of saying like welcome type of thing, right, you know, right? Yes. They do give you a small bag. They do, mm-hmm. but you don't have to use that bag, and you can keep on going back and getting bags. So what you can really do is what you do. You go to the store and ask for a bag. No, you, people bring like uh, backpacks, uh-huh. right? So you have your bag of candy, and you have your big backpack, and you can just go ahead and just keep on refilling your bag. So you put your candy in the backpack. How much bag. candy? Um, all right, Target bag, Publix bag. So like, oh, can you fill that up? That. It's smaller than that. No, no. At the end of the night, can you fill one of those? Oh, up? you can fill as many bags as you want. If you're being realistic, if you're like going to each station, not you going can, back and forth, but let's if say you, you have a big like school backpack, uh-huh. you could probably fill up easily half a backpack. I think just from going to each station once. Well, they give I you. I think so. They give you a bag. It's like a. Um, it's like those bags right. you bring for grocery shopping, like the reusable bags you bring mm-hmm. with the handles and stuff. Oh, yeah, it's like one of those, except a little smaller. So I'd say about, I'd say about maybe. Three fourths of that. Size. So you agree with Joe? Half a backpack of Jansport? I don't know about half a backpack. It depends on the backpack, of course. Backpacks are all different. Normal Jansport? I don't know what that means. Like a normal backpack. I was taking easily fill up easily a half a. That's backpack why I tried doors. using the reference of a Publix or a Target bag. Yeah, <laughs> you can easily fill up one of those. I'd no say problem. definitely no problem. I'd say a Publix, uh, a Publix plastic bag, right? Uh huh. I'd say easily three fourths fill. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty good. There's no doubt. Yeah. I mean, you can, if you want to, you can keep on going back. I mean, then obviously I mean, that's just, just one candy. person too. And then you mm-hmm. do the whole family. And that, right. And then little. if you're like me and you bring your two year old who can't have candy. But you still walk w- up there anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I was still going to go ahead. No, no, no. She doesn't like those. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was going to mention this later, you know, but I'm uh, like SeaWorld does their uh, uh-huh. trick or treat event, which Alex and I are going to go to this Sunday. Yep. And it is. 
going to Disney is like going to the rich neighborhoods when you go trick or treating. <laughs> <laughs> they, like Sea World, you know. I feel like even especially last year when we went, it was they weren't really. They're not nice. Very, they were, no, man, they were not nice at all. Oh, yeah. Giving out well, candy. I mean, it's a different like, trick or treat. They're giving you candy. You know, it's a different setup. They're standing doesn't... there with their blank faces, uh-huh. being all hot. And they're just standing there, like, like here, what type of hot? Like, good looking hot. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just standing there, like, here's some candy. Yeah, some and candy. they're not very nice about here's it. Some candy. Yeah. And then you have people going one way and people going the other way, and it's not well designed. So you have people going different ways through the same line, mm-hmm. and it's just not well put together. Yeah, but Disney. It, I mean, it's just free candy. Is like, free candy. Yeah, <laughs> and Disney's like this, like going to the rich neighborhoods because yeah. they they hook you up and they're super awesome about it. Since this is a Halloween party, what better time than now to bring out the villains for the stage show? Meet and greets and parties. Replacing the Disney villains mix and mingle in 2015, Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular is a a stage show starring the Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus. Guest appearances are made by Dr. Facilier from Princess and the Frog, Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas, and Maleficent from Cinderella. So, um, you know, those were added in there in case people didn't know. But you should know who those people are. Yeah, you should be able to say the names and they know what they are. Yeah. Mickey's Boo to You Halloween Parade is fresh spin on Disney's everyday parade with the Headless Horseman leading the floats. Characters such as Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Winnie the Pooh, and Tigger all dress up in their own costumes as they ride the floats. New additions for 2019 add Buzz Lightyear and Edna Mode. Of course, Disney villains are out too, along with a live version of the hitchhiking ghosts from the Haunted Mansion. So this parade is awesome. It's really cool. It's really good. I mean, I've seen a lot of parades in my life. (laughs) I <laughs> have you. It's a lot of parades. <laughs> and this parade is the best. Now, uh. I'm not a parade person. Mm-hmm. But parades at Disney, I don't really pay much attention to. And when he said there was a parade, I was like, oh, cool, parade, sweet. I have to stand around and watch a parade forever. It stinks. So as the parade went on, I started off with like, this is going to stink. And then as it went on, I went, oh, this is really cool. And mm-hmm. as it kept going, I was like, this is amazing. Yeah, it's really and good. And the, the people who do the dancing and stuff, they are really good at what they're doing. And there's some people there they're doing stuff that are pretty interesting the floats are interesting um so it's pretty good when you guys went was the maleficent float back and running what are you talking about the there dra- was maleficent she the was at the end the, the dragon's not during that one no well i didn't know if they would bring it out for that no has it I been saw back the, which one the dragon one yeah yeah man it's awesome you've seen it like in, in person yeah i've seen it in person then it caught on fire yeah, I know it caught on fire. But so how they? I forget how they brought it back. Yeah, I went there maybe like a couple weeks ago, and it was there, and it's awesome. But um, the Mickey's not so scary one. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, my favorite part of the parade is the haunted mansion part yep. of the parade because mm-hmm. they have like you know the hitchhiking, hitchhiking ghost, ghost, and there's you know the bride kind of on a hoverboard mm-hmm. scooting all around. Um, the parade's really good, yeah. and I mean the headless horseman leading it. That is awesome. On our on our Instagram, uh, Adam, um, Alex took a video of the headless horseman. We'll mm-hmm. go ahead and post that. But it is the headless horseman when he comes down. It's just so cool. It's so awesome. I got a video to post because I got a post of the uh, grave diggers, and oh, they're really they're cool because cool, they have shovels and they're walking around with shovels and they're banging each other. We we have talked about this before. I know, but I'm gonna. Oh, okay. we're, gonna we're gonna talk about it again. And uh, Listen, they don't slide rain, it. Across. Don't rain on our parade. <laughs> Sorry, Adam. Okay, Joe. <laughs> All right, Alex is talking here. So they got the grave diggers and they're sliding across the concrete making sparks. It's really cool. Um, they had some people do, they had a girl doing, uh, what was she doing? She was using the baton and it was, the, the baton skills was amazing. Oh, yeah. What was she doing? She was like uh, batoning with her elbow. elbows. Yeah. It was crazy. Oh, she was like bouncing them off her elbows. Yeah. It was yeah, awesome. It was, it was nuts. Uh, what else they have there was really f- fun to watch. Oh man, the people driving the cart, the the um, floats were funny to watch too. Like they have little cars they'd be driving. Oh, and, like one guy. one guy, one guy was like really into it. He was like singing really loud and stuff. Like he was singing, making faces, like talking, looking at people and stuff. And then the person behind was just like straight cold, cold mm-hmm. face, just driving the car forward. <laughs> Did it match up with what they were pulling? No, oh. they were like the exact same thing. Just uh, one was really into it, uh-huh. one wasn't. Uh-huh. Um, the song that you think the song would get really annoying because it's the same thing through the whole thing. It's just like the same 
It's like the same chorus. Yeah. Yeah. You to say the whole parade. You say you would think it would get annoying. You Ima- would. But imagine how they feel. They- oh, I know. <laughs> but I thought it would be annoying. But uh-huh. really, it's not. It's so catchy. But you're only hearing it for what five, ten minutes? No, the parade is so long. It- it's longer than 10 minutes? It's probably about 10 minutes, I think. Really? Yes, it's pretty. It felt longer it, than 10, 10 minutes. 10 minutes is a pretty long time for a parade. I yeah. I don't know. It felt so It felt so. It long. was good. It was awesome. I mean, that's like Alex is saying. It's a really good parade. Because mm-hmm. I don't care for the parade during the daytime right. really that much. So mm-hmm. it is way better than that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't like, I mean. you. I guess also the novelty of seeing things that you don't normally mm-hmm. see. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The uh, Buzz Lightyear. Um, Parade was pretty cool. Uh, he wasn't dressed up, though. What are you talking about? Buzz Lightyear. Oh, like, like in the costume? costume didn't yeah, have a yeah, costume. Yeah, he didn't have a costume on. Um, they did have they did have Woody and other people like that. And to end any Disney night, you have to have fireworks. Originally, this was Fantasy in the Sky, which showed a three-minute holiday-themed finale featuring the old witch from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. It was replaced by Happy Hollow Wishes, a grim grinning ghost spectacular in the sky in 2005. That show is based on the Haunted Mansion and featured dark music from the Disney Library of Animated Films. Now, as of 2019, the show that ends the night is not so spooky spectacular. This features fireworks, projection mapping, lasers, and searchlights at the castle. The show stars Jack Skeleton, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Goofy. So, you know, I've seen the last two shows. I mean, I obviously went a couple like a couple weeks ago or whatever. We saw the show and then we I saw the one last year, you know? Mm-hmm. And I personally like this one better. Yeah. I've heard over, like overwhelming people have been saying they like they don't like this one. Oh, really? Yeah. I like this one a lot better. I think this, it tells a better story. Come on, man. I'm going to I want to see Mickey, I want to see Donald, I want to see Goofy. Don't you see them see enough? <laughs> no, not my. No, I don't think they're so. They're the regular characters. You see them all. I want to see him, man. I'm basic. I'm a basic guy. I want to see. I want to see those characters. <laughs> him and his uh, and, pumpkin lattes. And, <laughs> and Jack Skellington. You know, he it, he. it was really cool seeing him. Yeah, because um, he was he wasn't a character. He was like he was a, a puppet. puppet. Yeah, so and they he had the guys dressed in black, kind of behind him. Uh huh. So it was pretty cool. And they had a oh, kind of hard to have a, the costume with that neck he's got. Right. <laughs> and Zero was there. He was helping him. We saw the parade and the show, but the parade yep. is twice, right? Mm-hmm. The parade is yep. twice. The show is twice. Yep. But um, one time they do the parade, then the show right afterwards. Mm-hmm. And we got really lucky. Um, we split up at one point, and they were in line to see uh, Winnie the Pooh. At least your wife and son were, right? I went in that line, too. Okay. So over by the Big Top area, they have... Um, like a dance party for little kids. Mm-hmm. So they have little kid characters like um, scary, like um, Vampirina. Vampirina's over there and Fancy Nancy are over there. So we went there. What does Fancy Nancy have to do with Halloween? It's not. It's just a, it's just a character. Oh, okay. So for little, well, I know for who little, Fancy Nancy girls. is. But... Well, why? Cheyenne. She's like in high school. Why do I always think she's in high school? She's not. Well, she will be next year. But, but still, Fancy Nancy. How long have Fancy Nancy been around for? She used to read the books when she was in elementary school. Oh, yeah. It started as books, didn't it? So, um, so after we got done there, they were still in line. So we were like, well, the show's starting in like 40 minutes. So let's go get a good spot for it, the parade. And then we went and got a good spot for it and we got a good spot. So we're right by the parade. And as soon as the parade is over, the show, the act castle starts, Mm -hmm. we turn to the right and bam, there's the castle. So we stood there. I think we stood there for almost two hours that night. That's a long time. It is a long time because we stood there. Hopefully you had some good shoes on. Yeah, Nikes, not a sponsor. And uh, we stood there. And what? Did we lose them? Yeah, we lost them. Oh. Yeah, they saw you wearing your Reeboks. <laughs> so we, we stood. I, I have we Sperry's st- on, thank you. Oh, sorry. And you can buy those at Disney Springs. <laughs> not a sponsor. And so we stood there about 40 minutes because we wanted to get a good spot. Mm-hmm. They came by and joined us later. Um, but the parade was, we were right by the parade, which is great. And then we didn't have to move for the show, which was awesome. So I recommend getting a spot for the parade and then having it so the show for the castle is right there next to it. That way you don't have to go back and forth to the parade, then come back again later for the castle. Right. As it's long all... as you're willing to stand there for a little bit. Right. I mean, you're going to be on your feet anyways. Yeah. So, But moving around is different than standing it in is. one spot. It is. It was definitely difficult holding my daughter there for two hours and keeping her attention in right. between the shows. I mean, you can get some exercises in. 
like by standing like, extend her out oh lift do some her like up lifts yeah. and stuff yeah. yeah but it was good i think i think it was definitely uh it was good shows i definitely think waiting there for was good enough because the way we did it was good um before that we had we had uh dinner there my wife wanted to have dinner at uh, Pinocchio. Is that right? Pinocchio's place. Yeah. What is that place called? But that place is closed for the for the candy, oh, so we couldn't okay. do it there. So we had to go to this other place. We were kind of disappointed. We went there mm-hmm. thinking we could hold up the signs for the people. You on. have to get the tables. No, we were at the window. Oh, there were signs there when I went there last time. They weren't there when we were there. Oh, yeah, I went there. We went there the next day to Disney, and because my wife wanted to eat there, I was like, "Let's go eat there." So we went there. And I was standing by the area for the chairs, mm-hmm. for the, and people were there. And I was like, I'm just going to stand here and wait till my wife comes, and hopefully someone gets up and we can sit down right there, Yeah, because I have my daughter with me. And I stood there for about 10 minutes, and there was these people looking at maps on their phone with their backpack, no food in front of them, just standing <laughs> there. And I was like, come on, man, just get up and get out. Get up so and when get you out. like say something out loud, be like, I know, honey, I know you need to sit down. I yeah. know, your feet are tired. <laughs> I had my daughter with me, so I was holding her and stuff. And the family got up and like motioned to me like, here, here's a table for you. But it uh, wasn't at the window. Right. So I sat down and I was like, still No, no, ready. no, I'm still good. <laughs> <laughs> Where we had dinner at? We ate at the Columbia Harbor House. Yeah, we had dinner there. At the chicken pot pie, which was uh, yeah. delicious. Was chicken good. pot pie was really good. Yeah, it was really good. What did I have? Did you have a chicken pot pie? I don't know. My memory is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you have a really bad memory, Alex. This is why at the park when mm-hmm. we're doing things, I actually put things in my notepad. Really? Just so I, when I come here. And you know, I I usually do it too. Like when I'm sitting there and I'm doing something, I want to talk I don't want about. To talk, I don't want him talking because all he had to do is take pictures of things that he's seen and he can't even do that. <laughs> But you take notes, but you won't take pictures? Yeah, because uh, I'm not going to, so. I wanted to see what. So my friend, so we got a, one of my friends, right, is really big into Disney and he's the one kind of, you know, has been talking about, he's been listening to the podcast Mm -hmm. and he says that we're getting better each and each week. And I I know he would tell me the truth. Like he would tell me straight to. Joe, I think I know where you're going with this one. where, Where am I going with this one? You're supposed to say, where am I going with this one, Adam? Where am I going with this one, Adam? Are you not going to talk about saying our names more? Oh, yeah. So he mentioned that we should say our names more. Like yeah. he mentioned we should say our names more. But like, he also I was mentioned. Le- I was leading him pretty good, listen, right? You are, yeah. But listen, he also mentioned that we shouldn't go ahead and on our Instagram, we should only post like Disney history stuff. We really shouldn't be posting right, but like, you what have, we're doing at the park. You have your own Instagram. I don't right? have my own Instagram. No. All right. What about Twitter? I don't have my own Twitter. See, I was, th- I was thinking about going ahead and making my own, but are people going to follow me? I don't know. I didn't yes. really. I think I'm I mean, po- if they have the choice between the three of us, you're probably on the last end because they know you don't take any po- photos. But yeah, it will. I take really good. Fo- I guess got a new phone, man. Yeah, he did. He got one. It has some really good. Has a really good camera. Doesn't mean that he's going to do it. Yeah, no. But no, they'll follow you because when I go to follow something I like, like a fellow podcast I listen to about football, they recommend following these people as well. And those, yeah, three maybe hosts. I will. We'll so. see, and then I can post those pictures. We, I think we should all make an Instagram account. I have, I have one. one. I have one. Diz his A. <laughs> is it really Diz his A? Yes, it is. I, I don't mean Diz his J. I mean, it's kind of partially nice. because um, you guys won't get this, but I watch Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> 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 hey, okay. don't laugh. Uh, yeah, and it was an ongoing thing where the person would sign just a line in A, and they were trying to figure out who A was. Uh, but it's also first letter of my name. So yeah. Goes in. That's well, pretty cool. Well, that does work for me because I'm Diz his red beard. <laughs> yep, you got a red beard. <laughs> quick fire, quick facts. Let's go. 2019 marks 25 fantastically fun years of Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. 176 individually themed carved pumpkins adorn the balconies and window sills of Main Street, USA. Four and a quarter miles of cable is installed for special lighting and sound effects that are part of the party's Halloween entertainment. A cast of 175, including performers, float drivers, costumers, cosmetologists, decorators, and maintenance cast members brings Mickey's Boo to You Halloween Parade to life. 23 miles of parade route. That's how far Mickey's Boo to You Halloween Parade will travel over the course of the season. 99 Grim Grinning Ghost Enhanced Not-So-Spooky Halloween Experience at the Haunted Mansion. More than 250 tons of candy will be handed out. 40 different kinds of brand name candies, including Skills, M&Ms, and Kit Kats, are included in three trick-or-treat candy mixes offered during the parties. Guests can visit 14 tasty treat locations. Zero tricks. All treats. No scares. 
So, Adam, uh, got any hidden Mickeys? I mean, I could. If you want me to do the entire park, we might be here a while. So, how many hidden Mickeys are there, then? I actually looked that up. There are 326 classic hidden Mickeys. Are you for real? <laughs> no, I just... <laughs> that was pretty good. I almost believed you. <laughs> probably be, that would probably be about the, how many I'd be naming off, since it does take a place in the entire park. Yeah. Yeah. So you had a memories thing. What, what, what Actually, thing? I had a question before we move okay, on to memories. This is about Spooktacular. Uh-huh. What rides are open? Because I know when I go to Halloween Horror Nights, they only have select rides open. Yeah. Is that the same at Magic Kingdom? Um, Most of them were open. Most of them are open. <sighs> so what specifically that you can think of was closed? Um, Philharmon- Philharmonic yep, was, closed. was closed. Because that's a, that's a treat station. And they yeah. actually have... Uh, the Headless Horseman movie, mm-hmm. um, Mr. Toad and Ichabod Crane, whatever the stories, uh-huh. the tales of, they're, it's playing in the movie theater. Yeah. Uh, I don't think, I think all of them are open, man. Yeah. Huh. Was Haunted Mansion open? It was open, yeah, right? Yeah, of why course. Did we go, I mean, why didn't we go on Haunted Mansion? I don't know. Haunted Mansion's open. <laughs> that so would be busy. the dumbest thing ever <laughs> <laughs> if they had that closed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I think, I can't think of a they're all open. thing we wanted to do that was closed. Yep, they're all open. Because they use the restaurants as places for it. Yep. Okay. The treat stations. Mm-hmm. This is memories. This is memories. 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 We kind of talked about memories throughout the whole podcast. Yeah. And, yep. But I do have some memories that I think are going to be. I kind of mentioned a memory a couple of weeks ago on the podcast about because we were. What were we talking about with the headless horseman? It was going to rain. I mean, we talked you went about into uh, the studio. The you went into Philharmonic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I talked about that memory, but yeah. why, why were why did I even mention that? Was it with Mister Toad's Wild Ride? Oh yeah, yeah it was Mister Toad's Wild Ride. I think I mentioned that. But I mean, this is last pastime. I just starting getting to like, and I rode Big Thunder uh-huh. at night, which was really cool. That's mm-hmm. gonna be a memory of mine. I rode it with my with my wife. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a memory. You know, sometimes like, you're living a memory that you know is gonna be a memory that you're gonna hold in your heart. For a long time. Well, you know, you know how nope. they say to you make never had memories. That? Uh, yeah, you have to like smell really deep. The smell. You have to like look around you <laughs> and get an area view of what you're looking at. I don't remember. I couldn't pause. even see anything. I mean, that's I was trying big, really. That's trying really. I know. Hard I was like memory. a big thunder in the dark, man. I'm not, I don't remember seeing too much. I just remember going around really fast. It's not really that fast, huh, Adam? No, it, it, <laughs> definitely, that, definitely not. I thought it was. I mean, it was fun. I liked it. Uh, I think I mentioned on uh, previously when we mentioned not so scary because that was what we did that week. But going on Space Mountain with complete darkness was pretty awesome. That's definitely a memory I'll have forever of seeing nothing and going on the ride. When you were going in, did mm. you smell in deep? I did. <laughs> did you take in? Oh, like... <laughs> Do you remember the smell? No, I have bad memory. So it did you help. run you your hand memory. down the side? <laughs> <laughs> Last year when we went, mm-hmm. we were waiting to see the fireworks show because it was going to be the last time for this fireworks show, you know, because the new show was... Well, I'm not even sure if we knew a new show was going to be coming on the castle or fireworks show was going to happen, you know, but we were waiting to see the fi- uh, fireworks show and it was like a 12 o'clock show, midnight, right? And because that's the last fireworks show of the night and like at 11.55, all of a sudden you start hearing the drizzle of the rain. Oh, really? Yeah. And then everyone was out there in the pouring rain and, you know, then you hear that announcement, the show is going to be postponed because of weather or whatever. And it was just pouring rain. I just remember sitting out there and then it finally started lighting up and it happened. But it was like at 12, 15, people were like standing out in the rain for like 10 minutes. Really? Yeah. It wasn't that like, it wasn't like a downpour, uh-huh. you know, but it was definitely raining pretty good. Huh. Yeah, I just thought of something. I can actually go watch that show. What show? The, the fireworks show and the projections on the castle. I'll just go to the contemporary. You could do that. Yeah. What do you mean? You go to the contemporary and then you just walk out to the balcony and then you can watch oh. the show. Yep. I've done that for New Year's many of times. Oh, yeah. I think my memory, I think I know I'll hold on to is the fact that this is my daughter's first Mickey Not So Scary Halloween and she's two. And um, I think I'll probably remember that forever. Her, you know, enjoying the night. Um, of course, we'll do it again next, probably do it again next year and the year after that. And then my son will be two year olds by then. And, uh, I'll get to share that, have the memory all over again with him. But I think, um, I think those kind of memories are what's going to be my most memorable thing is her first time going there. Cause I imagine we'll go there multiple times with her. 
Would you yeah, say you I'm, remember, sure, I'm would, sure we'll go again. You remember Nick's first time? Yeah. 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 And he loves it. Yeah. And that's the reason why I probably keep on going. Right. And the candy. Adam, do you plan on going at all? Maybe one day. I don't know. One day? Well, because we enjoy Halloween Horror Night so much. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you guys go on a ride and I'm sitting out, I'm eating all, all your Snickers. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't, don't have to give you the food. <laughs> yeah, I gave away my tip. I gave you away my now... Alex, when he goes like on Space Mountain or something like that, he's be like, I'm taking the candy with me. Yeah. Because that's what he did. He ate, my, yeah. he ate one of my Snickers. Mel will be like, why are you taking the candy on the ride? <laughs> I ate more than one. Because <laughs> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you have to explain it, be like, should have listened to the podcast. Yeah. So what did you do, Adam, in the world of Disney? Joe? Mm-hmm. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Really? Nope, no Disney. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I did to Disney this week. We're actually going this, not this Saturday, next Saturday we got plans. So we can go pick up our coaster. Oh, yeah? Oh. Yeah. Alex, how's your... I think uh, we're going to be... How's your points hey, coming towards that toaster? Coaster. Toaster. You, you can, they're giving away a toaster? <laughs> a coaster. <laughs> uh, I have no points for the coaster. Uh, but this week in, in Disney, I did not do much. Um, there is a website counting down the days till Disney Plus comes out. I saw that this oh, week. Oh yeah, that December what? November. Uh, November. Uh, November. Come on, 21st. man! Don't give me. I don't want to wait another month. No. What's today? When's it's November twelfth? Uh, when's 12th. the Lady and the Tramp coming out? Is that coming out right away? I don't know. Or is it? Oh, okay. Uh, but I did see that when it com- Disney Plus comes out, they will have the Star Wars uh, Mandalorian uh, Mandalorian on there, which is gonna be amazing. I did attempt to watch Spider Man Far From Home this week. Did you? Um, but my wife fell asleep uh, <laughs> two nights in a row uh-huh. while we watched it. All right. But so you were watching it. What does it matter? Well, no. I turned it off when she falls, fell asleep. Just be like, you didn't miss anything? No. She missed a <laughs> lot. Because we, we got as far as until he reveals, spoilers, that he reveals. I mean, can you give it more than a second? Yeah. Like, hey, this is a spoiler. This is a spoiler. You know, hit that 15 second skip button four times. Yeah, maybe. There's a spoiler where, uh, so where, <laughs> where Peter Sorry. reveals that he's Spider Man to Mary Jane. That's as far as I got. All right. And uh, and then she was asleep. And I was like, oh, okay. spoiler, man. That's a big oh, spoiler. Said that oh already. my gosh. You're he was listening? on his phone kicking the mic stand. So uh, we got to that, and then I realized she was sleeping, so I stopped it. And then the next night we started off, and she fell asleep. After the fire, the monster in the, the city. Mm-hmm. Um, we just appeared. watch it at school, man. Watch all other movies at school. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to bring it in. So then we had, to, I had to go all the way back there and rewatch it. And then we got to the part that we got to again. Mm-hmm. I looked over, rewatch she was, it. Why, she was just, already asleep. why can't you just start it from where you left off? Because she missed a whole part of it. Oh, oh you didn't notice that she fell asleep, right? Right. Okay. And so we had to start yeah, where yeah. she, where she remembers I, she was at. I know the pain. And then by the time I got to where I caught up. I looked over. She was asleep again. No, no, I get this. I wasn't asleep that oh, long. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then I'll hit rewind. I don't remember. No, that. what I do rewind, is rewind. What I do, is I, I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that was half an hour ago. <laughs> what I do is I pause it and I ask her crucial questions. I've done that. Yeah, question. You like no. give her a test? Yeah. No, no, Joe. I've done this too. I make up the question. I make up the <laughs> answers. <laughs> oh yeah. Be like, oh, what did he spill on his jacket? Oh, a drink. He didn't have a jacket. <laughs> he was in a bathing suit. <laughs> uh, that's messed up, man. I've done that plenty of times. No, I do ask questions and she can't answer them. So I say, yeah, you were sleeping. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to attempt to watch it again this weekend. Uh, what was the date again for uh, Disney Plus? November 12th. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Lady and the Tramp will be out the day. On the on the web, on the Disney Plus app? Yep. That, it's going I'm, straight I'm, to the app? Yep. I'm wondering okay. how many glitches they're going to have because there's going to be a bunch oh, of people trying to... Yeah. No, it's not a... I mean, that wouldn't be a glitch. That would be a server overload. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. I can't wait. I, I mean, app, wait. the apps of... They already have a Disney app now. Yeah. And it's not the best. It's not the best. <laughs> oh, it's not, I've <laughs> no. never used it because I don't have cable. Yeah, it's not so. the best. Oh, no, no. Like the Disney app on the TVs. Pr- all right. Yeah, that's right. Like, oh, it has, no, like no. Muppet Babies or whatever. No, I'm not, yeah, like I'm not yeah. talking about the my Disney, my experience. Oh, that thing's horrible. Yeah. I mean, it's all right, but it, it no, could be it better, has, man, for It has Disney. too many issues. Yeah, it does have a lot so of So you've issues. never looked up to see when your FastPass time is and it's like not loading? Yeah, it happens a lot. Does so anyone ask me what I did? No. Yes, Joe, what did you do? So uh, 
I uh, watched some Tim Tracker this week, you know, and he was in California. Uh-huh. And uh, it was cool kind of see Disneyland. And, it, you know, it seems to me not very crowded over at Disneyland. And yeah. they ha- they still have the electrical parade over there, which is awesome because I love the electrical parade. Um, that's going on over there right now. Like a little old man. Who, likes me? Likes slow rides, likes the electrical parade. Dude, the electrical par- I love the electrical parade. <laughs> you go on Carousel of Progress every time you go to Magic Kingdom. I love Kingdom the Carousel of Progress. <laughs> I do love the Carousel of Progress. Do you keep caramel candy in your pocket? <laughs> Werther's Original. <laughs> uh, the Buzz Lightyear ride. Uh-huh. Tim rode the Buzz Lightyear ride yeah. over at um, Disneyland. Yes. And it's a lot newer than our Buzz Lightyear ride over oh, here. Really? Like the targets kind of flash. You know, like our targets don't really f- flash over here at Magic no, Kingdom, they don't. but the the ones over there flash. And this looks a lot more. It's like a newer ride. But do they need to flash? I mean, they're just IR sensors. You're right. They don't need to flash. They just lo- does it, lo- <laughs> it looks, does it look looks nicer? Right. I guess. You know, I've been on Buzz Lightyear in a long time, but every time I go over to go to uh, Monsters Inc. Uh, floor, laugh floor, the line is always so long. Which is why I don't go on it. Mm-hmm. It is a long, long But why long line. is it so long? Yeah, but it might be long. However, I'm, it fills up. You can put a lot of people in that studio. You can. Really? So it goes yeah. pretty fast? And yes. I think that people always confuse that with Toy Story Mania. What? I think they no do. Way. Yeah. No. I've heard a couple people mix them up. They're like, oh, Toy Story Mania? It's a pretty Yeah. I know. Thing. It's two totally, totally different. different. I think people uh. do confuse them. Also this weekend, I went to a film convention, like a, uh, like a con, you know? Oh, yeah. And there were some filmmakers there, you know, like a bunch of filmmakers well, I mean, in the depends area. on what type of con. I saw Con Air once. That's yeah, a, well, I love like, Con Air. <laughs> did, so, you, uh, did you uh, promote Dizzes? <laughs> yeah, we did. We, I had some, you I was wore talking your ears? with some people. Huh? No, I did not wear my ears. You wore the t-shirt? I did not wear it. We don't even have t-shirts yet. <laughs> we don't even have t-shirts Passed yet. out business cards? We don't have business cards. But listen, hold on. So I just talked to some people, but we... They were filmmakers, so we talked about some of the films, you know, because there were some recently some indie films that were filmed in Disney without Disney's consent. Really? Yeah. So we were talking about some of those films, um, which is interesting. I mean, they had to be really sneaky Mm -hmm. about how they would film inside those parks. GoPros are so easy. Yep. Yep. But still, I mean, there's always there's people everywhere, like there's cast members everywhere. So we were kind of talking about that. And um, we worked on our studio this past weekend. Hopefully, we'll be in our studio for um, our next uh, our next podcast. Mm-hmm. We'll be in the studio. Yes, for sure. And uh, you know, we just worked on that. We're trying to get some central AC put into the studio, and we are making it look. We're kind of Disneyfying it. Uh huh. You know, so we're kind of looking forward to having that and getting some more guests. We don't have. Well, we haven't had any guests on the show, but hopefully, because when we have our own studio, we'll be able to get some guests on the show mm-hmm. and. So we can hear some more memories and have another look or another vantage point, point I guess, point of view, your perspective mm-hmm. on some of the things that we're talking about. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, I can't wait. It'll be uh, it'll be nice having a studio. Yeah, I can't wait either. And then we should definitely be getting some more listeners. Yep. Don't forget next week, check us out on oh, yeah. Tom and Dan. Yeah. The 104.1 WTKS if you're in the Central Florida area. Twitch slash Tom and Dan live. Just in case you're wondering what those voices go with, with bo- which bodies. Yeah, I'm Joe. I'm Alex. I'm Adam. That's not the end of the show. <laughs> we're just saying that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be on a corporate time of Tom and Dan, so you'll be able are to check you, us are out. Are you nervous? Uh, yes, I I'm am. I'm kind of nervous. I'm definitely nervous. I like I'm a fanboy, so it doesn't help. I'm but a fanboy you- too, but I can tell you, I'm nervous right now doing this podcast. <laughs> so I think that's my biggest issue is the fact that we're going to be live. I'm not editing it. I can't cut any dumb right. things we say. Say yeah. out. And yeah. we say a lot of dumb things. Yes, we do. <laughs> Get yeah. things wrong. Have to check them later. So we're going to sit down and be quiet so we don't mess up. <laughs> <laughs> what is? Do you know the amount of people that listen to that show? Do you have a ballpark figure? I know how many downloads their podcast has. Like three billion, I think. No, <laughs> they have uh, five trillion. When they had their ten year anniversary recently, and they said they're up to eight million downloads. Oh wow! wow. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just their podcast. We're going to be on their, uh, you know, we're going to be on the radio too. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be the Tom the and Dan, Tom and Dan listeners, and WTKS listeners, or iHeart. I'm on the radio. I have to put my radio voice on. It's me, Alex. I'm in the radio. I'm definitely not doing that. <laughs> I'm definitely not doing that either. Oh, I'm totally doing that, guys. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> so that's the his on Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I'm Joe. I'm Alex. I'm Adam. Thanks for listening and have a magical week. 
Please follow us on all social media by searching Diz His 65 Share us and subscribe to our podcast to get the latest show when it is available. If you want to help us out, get tips, get your memories shared on the podcast, see pictures and videos of what we are up to at the parks, join our goof troop on Patreon.com and search for Diz His.